Okay, one of Cyrus's issues, as we saw in the very first video, is he's a little bit territorial when people come to the house. Now, I said that I thought it was separation anxiety from looking at my notes, but in this case, I think he just thinks that his job is to be a terror, uh, in charge of security. So in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to answer the door and claim the area around the door to teach your dog good door manners. Now, when you're doing this, this will be helpful if you have family or friends play the part of a guest. We have arranged for a family member to knock on the door in about 20 seconds. And so now I know when it's happening. Usually when people come to our door, we're preoccupied doing something else and it catches us by surprise. And we're trying to do three things, five things at once and we're rushing and that exasperates and makes the dog think whoever the visitor is, is disturbing the peace. He's about, he's there right now, right? Um, okay, well he'll be there in a minute. Um, so basically call, uh, when you have somebody call or text before they're gonna be home, park in the drive on the street, not in the driveway. And so now the person that's home washes their hands, turns the volume down, act like you're casual, but be ready to go. So your timing is gonna be much better and your focus is exclusively on the dog as opposed to the door. Now when I answer the door, I'm gonna break it down into individual steps and helping practice each step one at a time before we actually, and I'd rather you don't look, uh, you're gonna tip the dog off. Uh, we wanna help the dog practice one at a time, each step at a time before we move to the next step. So you see he's very, right over here. I'm very casual. Facing the dog and return and hug this way. 
If I want to give them a kiss, I'm going to keep my hips and shoulders facing and turn and kiss. Don't worry, Joe, I'm not going to kiss you. Uh, but this way, we're, keep, we're teaching the dog how we want to behave. And just like us, the closer we get to things, the more intense they are. We want to increase the distance so it's not as intense. He's not right at the door. The human takes the leadership position by being in front, and the dog has to restrain itself. There's no barrier. The dog is developing self-control. And then if somebody comes in, they're not a dog person, they drop something off, they leave, they don't have to worry about the dog at all. If the, now, if they do want to interact with the dog, it would not be allowed until after they cross that line. Uh, so this, way, this is a, basically a quick video on how you can teach your dog better door manners and how to behave and not go crazy when guests come to the door.